Hi there, students. Cockeyed. Cockeyed, an adjective. You can write it as one word or with a hyphen. OK, the first meaning for me for cockeyed is something that's not straight. It's at an angle. So you see that picture over there? It's a bit cockeyed. Yeah, could you just straighten it for me? Yeah, so it's not horizontal. It doesn't, um, it's not straight. It slopes a bit to one side. Then you can use cockeyed more metaphorically to say that something is ridiculous, it's stupid. Yeah, so the government has dreamed up a new cockeyed plan um, to make people sign every day to collect unemployment benefit. So if you describe an idea or a plan um, as cockeyed, somebody hasn't really been thinking straight. It's just weird. It's not straight, if you like, metaphorically. Yeah, it's not suitable. It's not going to work. So whoever had the cockeyed idea of um, putting my glasses in the freezer, yeah, <laughs> seems to me totally cockeyed. Yeah, so a cockeyed plan. Um, the Americans also apparently use this word cockeyed, probably it's a bit old fashioned, to mean drunk. Yeah. But as a Brit, I don't think I would use this. Yeah. So, well, we got cockeyed drinking uh, whiskey, I guess. Ah, that's one of the things I hadn't done. OK, cockeyed. The real basic meaning is this when your eyes just look inwards. And that is the real basic meaning of cockeyed. Yeah. So, yeah, your eyes are not looking where they should be. They are cockeyed. So a cockeyed plan is just completely unreasonable. It's completely ridiculous. Whoever had the cockeyed idea of going for a, a long walk in um, the pouring rain? Yeah, it's been raining for days and we came back absolutely soaked. Yeah, this is a totally cockeyed way of doing things. Maybe um, the government have a cockeyed sense of value. For them, the most important thing is getting re-elected. Yeah, not what's actually good for the people. Yeah, <laughs> the way people have, uh, uh, have done this is very cockeyed. Yeah, it just doesn't really make a, a, a lot of sense. You can actually also have a cockeyed optimist, somebody who is just ridiculously optimistic, ridiculously hopeful. Yeah, don't be such a cockeyed optimist. Look at the reality of things. Think about things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because your optimism is totally crazy. It's stupid. It's cockeyed. It's not reasonable. Yeah. It's just absurd. Yeah. The picture is off center. It's cockeyed. It's slanted to one side. Yeah. After the crash, the, um, the car bumper was a bit cockeyed, but nothing else, nothing worse. So, yeah, it's just a, um, a skew, skew with, yeah, awry, lopsided. Yeah, so there were photographs uh, on the wall, all hanging cockeyed at different angles. Yeah, all at cockeyed angles. Yeah, he has cockeyed delusions about becoming the um, most famous footballer since Messi. Yeah, but he can't even play football. OK, so, yeah, cockeyed. Just this is it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's um, just absurd or silly. Notice we use this cockeyed like this, referring to ideas. You wouldn't call a person cockeyed. Yeah, he's cockeyed plan, but I wouldn't say he's cockeyed because if I said he's cockeyed, this is what, what I would mean. OK, and that's um, different. Let's see. As to formality, um, I think I would give this a four in formality. So um, use it informally, use it in a semi-formal conversation. Semi-formal writing just about. Um, 
And then, yeah, um, as to origin of this, the origin of this, well, um, it probably comes from cock, as in the bird, a, ma a male um, chicken, yeah, um, which itself comes from proto-West Germanic cock, yeah, uh, or proto-Germanic kurkaz, yeah, you see that sounds onomatopoeic to me and chickens can do some pretty silly things so enough i hope you've got this idea straight in your head you haven't got it cock-eyed um enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now cock-eyed